Hello YouTube. Today we're going to change the motor oil on my 2007 Prius. This car has about almost almost 100,000 miles, and I change the oil myself. This car has never been uh, in a dealership or a repair shop. I just change the oil every 5,000 miles and air brake fluid, fluids and etc. I just do everything myself. 100% reliable. Now to change oil you need uh, first of all you need a uh, ramp so you can drive up. My driveway is slightly inclined so this will work perfect. Uh, you will need uh, about four quarts of uh, I use mobile one uh, 5W30 uh, oil and then you need a, a bucket to catch the oil you need a wrench with a adapter and a 14 meter I guess 14 millimeter size 14 you need a uh, filter wrench and you need a Toyota filter this one is uh, that's the number of it. You need some uh, funnels. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention you need a couple of these to uh, make sure the car doesn't roll. First of all, I need to drive my car up to this uh, ramp. I'll do that right now. Put the hand brakes on and put these. I guess these are called chucks. I don't know. So make sure the car is secured. Okay, now I got the hood open. First of all, reach into the engine bay. Kind of open up the oil reservoir right here that's where the new oil goes in open it up and then go underneath to find the right here is the oh, right here here's the here's the lug okay put the socket on Here's the oil filter. You need a filter wrench to take that off. But right now, I'm going to drain the oil, which is a drain plug is right here. This is an oil reservoir. This is a drain plug. So put it on there. Loosen it. Once it's loosened, make sure the Oil is draining out now. Okay, next you need a filter wrench. You need a extension for it, so put an extension rod here and put on the filter wrench so you can unscrew the, the filter and go under the car and take off the filter okay mm -hmm. okay here's the filter the filter bring the over here put the put on. <coughs> loosen it after you loosen it When you take it off, the oil is going to flash you out, so be careful. Let it drain off this. Ok, 
Okay. Let's screw it. Take the drain plug, take out the old washer, put a new washer on, and then plug up the... Okay, alright. Okay. Plug up the drain hole. Okay. You don't want to put it on too tight. That's enough. Okay, now you wipe. What you doing? Wipe this place. Okay. Okay, now you're ready to put the new filter on. Okay. Okay, Now you take out the new uh, filter. Take out the plastic wrap. Now, okay, put some oil. On the O-ring, put this thin smear oil on the roll ring. Then I take out my gloves and I hand 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 tighten this, not too tight. Okay. Okay. Here's a new filter. Put it on there. Screw it on. And just hand tighten. Not too tight, otherwise you'll have difficulty getting it off next time. That's more than enough. Okay, make sure it's tight now. And this is already tightened. Okay, now you're ready to add oil. Okay, now you're ready to add oil. I use a funnel for this. Put the funnel over. It will take a slightly less than 4 quarts. About 3.75 quarts. So I got 1 quart right here. Three quarts. And this is a fourth quart, but I'm not going to use all of it. I should be about right. Still have four. Uh, out and put the put the cap on okay now you're done take out the dirty oil before you let the cart down the ramp take off these things Now you turn off the turn on the engine, but you gotta turn off the maintenance required maintenance required light. Oh my gas, my uh, tires are under deflated also. So you need to turn this off. To turn the maintenance required light off, first of all, you press the auto trip to make sure it's on odometer mode. on odometer mode see right now so trip mode trip B trip A odometer odometer mode and then you turn off the engine okay you put keep pressing this and then you turn on the engine And then the maintenance light goes off. See the maintenance lights off now. Okay. 
So make sure everything's tight now, and then you want to check the level. You let the engine run a little bit, and then you take out the dip dipstick. Put it back in, and come out. Perfect. See that? Don't want to go over this dot, so it's perfect. It's full. Okay. Okay, that's it.